Look at that. Look at between all of them. Boy, the, the stern's about the same height. See how it has a rail on the grab? Oh, my. Woo! Look at that. There's that edge. Wow, that's probably the edge of the item load up paddle. We got a Matt Wyland hop off! Cross stop switch into the eddy? No. Let go! Yeah! He did it! The Narvana. Look how nice and recessed that drain plug is, Jacob. You can even get your little fingers on it. Well, looky there. See, he's struggling. Big Whoa, medium that's... logo there. What is that? Are those plastics They didn't there? cut it out all the way, but... We won't, we won't extra plastic welding extra plastic. plastic yeah welding plastic i like the big nice handles those handles look nice and there's texture under here for holding your skirt on this is lifted higher right uh, that this, seat yeah, pan is higher yeah. bees knees come included yeah, man, we'll see so it comes with the bees knees locking security bar they textured inside there look at that yeah, they, sure did. they textured it a little surface pitting I do like the fact that they put a wall holder in there. I do too. I think it makes yeah. it more solid. What's this holding in their seat? It's because they have a drop down rim. Yeah. It's oh. riveted right there and the seat adjusts on this and it slides on a piece yeah, in I here. Know, they're so Super easy. easy to adjust. By far the easiest seat in a and industry. I'll tell you, all of this is 100% straight out of the factory. I didn't do anything. No hip shape. Yeah. He just picked it up, brought it straight to the river. I figured Chio is a good place to try it out. Really liking that edge. Yeah. I'm like really into that edge. Woo! Oh, it's, Love it's it. A, it's Let's get on the water. Let's do it. Well, they kept the strap in there. There's a strap that you can grab through the wall that helps carrying it. So what what was the specs again on this? Eight foot eleven. Eight, eight foot. I think it's eight ten. Twenty. Twenty seven point five. Quarter, yeah. Ninety one gallons. Ninety one gallons. Supposedly like 46 pounds. And optimal weight's like 175, 180. I'm like perfect. I'm six foot and 175. Yeah, I'm like 180 right now. So I think we both hit this in a good area. I'll be really curious to see how you like it. I I genuinely, so man, I could not get it to pull back any further for nothing. I don't know why. Get it to go back? Yeah. Just wasn't strong enough. I, apparently not, you know. I got to save my energy for my swim. <laughs> I can feel the low, the lower in the knees here. Yeah. It's lower. I would move those bees knees, but they, they feel comfortable. I'm locked in well. Yeah. It definitely has a lower knee feeling than that does. one does. But it's not as low as what the uh, Nirvana was. No, the, the Nirvana had a very low, low deck on it. Super easy to adjust. I'm like, I'm already outfitted. So, uh, yeah, literally, that's what I did. I was, I was in that boat in less than five minutes. You're done. Cockpit feels like standard 3419 size. Oh, there's some stability in it. Seriously, it's like leaning on. But you know, it doesn't feel like the Z3. Oh, it God. doesn't feel like a barge. The Z3 felt like a big barge. All the stability's right here, obviously. That bow rides high. Watch how that bow rides up and over things. Definitely has a tendency to spin pretty quick. Not the most aesthetically pleasing bow. No. It still kind of looks like a, a Z3 in that bow. I wish they'd done some different deck lines up there. Woo! It gets back on that rocker a little better. I felt the edge grab right there. Oh, it spins fast. Yeah. It's shockingly nimble for a hell of a big bow. It spins quick. Probably the driest Jackson bow, that's for sure. Even though there's rails, there's no grabbiness to those rails. Like, see, I'm in this turbulent eddy line. There's, there's like good stability on that. I like that feeling. That makes it good for big water, that's for sure. comes off loose quick. I didn't feel a stern tap there. See, in that weird cross current, I didn't feel it grabbing at all.
Let's do a little wing over action. has a better rail on it for managing holes. I need to move the bulkhead up. Woo! I like that. Oh wow, if you just drop that bow in, hits and goes. Definitely like how you have to kind of control that back end. It will spin out on you. There's that edge. Wow, that's probably the edgiest guy can load up paddle. is to be expected with that kind of rail.
switch into the Eddy? No. What? Maybe. One more time. Let go. Yeah, he did it. That was awesome. This has a wider, flatter bow on it. Yeah, it's like, it's flat so it loads better. Yeah. Woo. Definitely has some good pop in that bow. thing man the bow stays extremely dry and it comes up and over just super easy when you get back on that tail rocker and it helps drop that bow even higher so even though it's not like is rocker to stay like the code or something like that that doesn't really mean that you can't that you can't get it back and get it up the edges were nice I loved yeah which definitely does not feel like a Jackson edge I can't really put my finger on what it feels like because it's like a, it's not from end to end like the scorch. The edges are like from right about there to yeah. And Waka's got an end to end edge also. This one does not. Definitely had a mind of its own a little bit of times when I'd come out of stuff. It had a tendency to kind of get a little squirrely. I noticed that when I was surfing on the front waves, but when I was feeling out. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know you. But it's one of these boats. You need to keep an active blade in the water and steer this thing. You're not going to step back and back seat this one. Not like the Z3 and Nirvana. Z3, I could kind of step back a lot and just just really float through things. This one, you have to drive it. You want to pull and drive this thing. Love how it boots up and over. Super comfortable, too. Very comfortable sitting in it. And at 180, this feels like I'm like money for it. It does not feel small, does not feel big. It feels like a true medium in the water. I agree. It looked really big up here when I first seen it, but it's really not as big on the water. Very nimble for an 8 foot 11 boat. Um, different, it's definitely different than anything else I paddled. I, if I had to compare it to something, maybe the Phoenix meets the Scorch meets the Nirvana. Kind of a mixture of all those. You can see not paddling, it's just kind of like spinning on its own. The Phoenix kind of did that with me a lot. And it was that big wide surface in the middle that's causing that. It's great. If you're driving it and kind of like really driving it, it, it stays on course pretty easy. I think it gets its speed because it's so dry in the water. Water does puddle in these things, huh? Plastic feels good. The boat's good. I think Jackson did a good job on it. Do what? This Gen 3. It wasn't fun to paddle, I think. It kind of detached me too much. This one was fun. It's this one, fun. I feel like I could get on that edge and really like drive off that edge. Isn't it fun? Dorky looking bow. Looks like a beluga whale. I'm not a big fan of this bow. I'm Maybe. Not a fan of the name. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of using Narvana. No, I, I you went from a Nav Navarna to a Narvana. All right, that's pretty much it. That's the review of the Narvana Medium. Big thanks to Tony helping me out. This is his boat. So, um, you guys, if you had any experience in these, let me know. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. So yeah. Woo.